I mean, why not start my first weekly reads video looking like this? Pfft, why not? Reality people. So, hi. It's 3am on Wednesday, the 5th of September. So I woke up because of something. And when I woke up, I just had Steve Donahue in my head telling me that I was wasting hours by sleeping and then if I wanted to read all of the good books in the world then I had to get up and start reading. Steve's affecting my sleep now. I guess that's what crushes do. <laughs> I'm reading The Animators by Kelly Ray Whitaker. Um, I am 45% through according to Goodreads. This is a lot um, easier than I thought it was going to be to read. So it's just um, a story of two friends who um, are animators. They, have, they met in college um, and discovered that they had similar drawing styles and so um, decided to collaborate. And it skips ahead to a point where they have just hit their first level of fame and received their first grant for their first movie. Um, but it's starting to unfold into a story about what their drawing really means and how their drawing um, helps them work through the things that happened to them in the past. So we're right in the thick of that now. So I figure I'm just going to um, do what Steve says. Stop wasting my time sleeping. Because who needs sleep? Apparently. If Steve can do it, I can, huh? Um, and I will have a bit of a read at 3am in the freaking morning. It's 5 a.m. I did two hours of reading. I'm on page 231 now of the animators. And it's it's easy to read and good and provides enough interest to keep going and um, yeah, I'm enjoying reading it. But I'm dropping off to sleep as I do, so I'm gonna try and sneak. A little nap in before my two babies wake up and we have to start the day. Sorry Steve, I feel like I've disappointed you. But small steps. Good morning! Um, so I'm out of bed. I'm up. I'm showered. I'm dressed. Um, I'm about to take the kids to school. Um, I got an hour's sleep before my littlest one decided to wake up, which is fine. I had a solid seven hours. Breastfeeding mothers have far less than that in function. Steve Donahue has far less than that in function. Anyway, um, a friend of mine called and asked if I wanted to go for coffee, and I said, hell yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that after school drop-off, and I'm just packing the animators. Hopefully, maybe finish that. Um, I'm going to arrive there a bit earlier than her, so I'll have time to have a coffee and um, read that. And just in case I finish that, I always pack a second book just in case. It's a fear of mine that I'll be um, stuck somewhere without something to read. And I rarely ever get to the second book, but it's just my backup plan and I'm the kind of gal who likes backup plans. So um, I'm going to pack The Restorer by Michael Saller, which is the next um, book on my TBR for September and um, it's an Aussie book so I feel like delving into Aussie fiction. So let's do the school run. Just get it out of the way so I can get to reading again. <laughs> That's all my day consists of, getting the stuff done so I can read again.
So for all of my chats about all the reading I was going to get done waiting for my friend, she arrived before me. We just had a three hour breakfast and then I came home. So I got zero reading done. But what I did was right beside our breakfast place is an op shop. I'm very lucky. I live in a town with four op shops, I think. Um, and so I picked up some more books. <laughs> Caitlin Moran, How to Be a Woman. Everybody says how great it is, so why not? Um, Mary the Queen, because um, Steve, I talk a lot about Steve. He is my crush, I suppose. So Steve um, has sparked in me some interest in the, um, you know, the old royalty and um, the old English kings and queens and what they got up to. So um, I just saw this and it was $3.50, so why not? Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing because... <laughs> This name is so cool. This woman's name is so cool. And every time I watch a booktube um, video with this person's <laughs> name, I want to say it too. So, Chimamande Ngoji Adichie. Did I say it right? <laughs> I bought this book purely so I could say that name and say I had a book by that name. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody read this, but that doesn't mean it's not great. It was $3.50. Um, it's a short stories of motherhood and mistresses. Sounds interesting. And then the white tiger. Um, I don't know, just because. I've seen it around. It was there. I think in op shops it's hard because you kind of have to, oh no. It's large print. Large print. One of my pet peeves. Um, no. Um, so, the wrap up of my morning is I went to town, I got no reading done, and I bought four more books. Pretty much. Now my stays were all. Hi. It's a Wednesday afternoon now and I thought I would just jump on quickly because I just finished uh, The Animators by Kaylee Ray Whitaker. Um, this book was a four star read for me. It um, was better than average and it hummed along quite nicely. Um, a few things irked me, which we can have a chat about now if you like. <laughs> which um, So it's just basically a story about two friends who meet in college um, they're both illustrators and then they dive into the world of animation and become quite successful in that world, um, creating animated movies. Um, it has a number of sort of twists and, and turns and, um, different narratives. Um, I guess the main narrative is the relationship between the two girls. One is, one girl is a lesbian and the other is not and... Um, it talks a lot about them being in a platonic friendship um, and sharing that platonic love um, while both of them don't have their families and drift together and, and, and that friendship becomes a family base for them. Um, that relationship was interesting to me. Um, it was filled with um, creative battles um, and it probably was something that I wouldn't have put up with but um, I guess what it brought out for me was the fact that perhaps when you're in a creative partnership with someone the idea that you work better with them lets you forgive all of the things that they bring to you that may not be so helpful. It's told from the point of view of one of the partners and she has an opinion on the other. So I guess it's, it's, it's hard to kind of get both sides of the story when it's just told from one point of view. But um, 
I kind of found that relationship, which is the main relationship to be unhealthy, which made me sad sometimes for the choices that were made by the narrator. Anyway, um, it also speaks about creativity. These guys used their creative outlet as a way to um, work through their personal stuff and they had a lot of personal stuff. So um, what I noticed from that was it wasn't as therapeutic as you would think it would be. So they created two um, successful movies. One was about um, one of the partner Mel's life and the other was about the narrator's life and both were using that as a way to process what they had been through in their past. But what was really striking for me was that nothing really got processed. It just made them money. It just made them successful, um, which really wasn't the point, I thought, of them using their stories to, to make themselves better. So um, I would have liked to have seen some changes in the main character, um, the narrator, once she was using the um, her creative outlet to process something that had come up for her in her past she didn't seem to change she didn't her language didn't change the way she approached her fame and her success didn't change the way that she worked with her manager and her colleagues didn't change um, it was like she was still the college student in the way that she spoke and the way that she interacted with people the only thing that the author introduced that made her seem like she was growing up was that she met a guy and moved in with a guy and settled down and didn't go out partying, which I kind of found a bit lame. I thought that maybe she could have, um, there could have been an outcome of, a better outcome of her using her personal story of using her creative outlet to, to process her personal stuff. Or maybe that was the point. Maybe that is you use it to create the fame and the success. You don't use it to work through stuff. I don't know. I found that her growth was was pretty much stunted. Even when, you know, tragic things happened, it still didn't change her interactions with people and the way that she approached the world. So I just thought that development of her was a little bit lacking. But maybe that was the point and I just bloody completely missed it. Anyway, I gave it four stars on Goodreads. Um, I would recommend it as an easy read. Um, it's not all bells and whistles. There's lots of drugs. There's lots of partying, all that sort of stuff. Um, but it's, it's, it's a page turner and it makes you keep going. It, it throws new things at you all the time and I, I enjoyed that. So four stars. So one down, um, that was on my TBR for my random pick from my Goodreads TBR. So that one's checked off the list. This is the next one. I haven't read this yet. This is on my physical TBR. This is a copy that my auntie has read and my cousin has read. And then they handed it on to me, which makes it really special. Um, I wasn't going to read this one this month. But I met up with a friend today, my friend who I had breakfast with, and she's listening to this on audiobook. And I am desperate to talk to someone who actually sits in front of me about um, a book and about reading it. So she's about halfway through um, on her audiobook. So I'm going to try and get there as soon as I can um, and catch up to her. And then we can start talking about it. And, you know, this is all over booktube. So I can't wait to get into it. So... The rest of my night is just going to be putting the kids to bed so I can read. That whole process of getting through what I have to do so I can read, that's where I'm at again. I've chosen to not interact with my children and start reading this because I'm a bad mom and I'm seriously addicted to reading. And they're fine. They're playing. They're doing stuff. I don't need to, um, I don't need to hang out with them all the time, do I? Anyway, just for tonight, time to start. <gasps> Excited.
What's that pose? What's that pose? Wheel. Wheel? Yeah. That looks hard. Fit it out. Yum. Mom. I am it. Get your towel, Papa. Are you dry? I'm not. I haven't. I didn't wish to either leg. Because at school, I had a wheelie. I had a wheelie. This gown. So angrily at Gloin that the dwarf huddled back in his chair. And when Bilbo tried to open his mouth to ask a question, he turned and frowned at him and stuck out his bushy eyebrows till Bilbo shut his mouth tight with a snap. You think he can stick out bushy eyebrows? Uh, I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like this. It would, eh? Hey? Yeah. <laughs> uh. That's right, said Gandalf. Let's have no more argument. I have chosen Mr. Baggins, and that ought to be enough for all of you. If I say he is a burglar, a burglar he is, or will be when the time comes. He's a burglar? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. They're in a magic land, Mum. Mm. There really isn't such a thing as burgling. Everything's burgling, really. You steal. Really? They're in a magic land. They're in our rules. Oh. Do you want to read The Hobbit too? <laughs> There's Fitzy, that, that guy. That's Mama and that's me. La la. <laughs> On the table in the light of a big lamp with a red shade, he spread a pe piece of parchment, rather like a map. <sighs> that 3am start is catching up with me. They're in bed. I did it. I did all the things a mum needs to do. Everything's sorted. They had dinner. They got into bed. Now I can do what this mum want, really has wanted to do. And I'm going to start reading this before I fall asleep and go to bed from my crazy 3am start. Um, I'd love to get a good chunk of the way through this. So I'm going to um, put on some lovely reading music and get stuck into it. I'm sinking further and further down into my bed. So I'm going to say good night. I don't think I'm going to get a good chunk of the way through this book. Oh, but a couple more pages might put me to sleep and that'll be enough and we can start again tomorrow. I've had a fun first day doing a reading chat. Um, now comes the hard part of editing it, but it's been cool. It's like talking to my friends about what I'm reading, but in a different way. One of the big pulls for me to do this is to be a part of the, the discussion and be a part of the community and, and meet like-minded people. So I can't do that unless I post. So that's what this is all about. So thank you for spending my first reading vlog day with me. I said at the start it was going to be a weekly reads, but I don't know. This might just be the today one. We got a lot of footage. I talked a lot. <laughs> okay. I'm hanging out with Eleanor. Good night. <laughs>